Alright, this is the installation instructions on how to install the, your remachined needle bearing pressure plate for a KZ900, KZ1000. First step we have to do is remove the existing clutch cover. After the clutch cover is removed, you need to remove the five bolts, washers, and springs that hold the pressure plate in place. This is what you'll see after you remove the pressure plate. You'll see the, the, the pusher and the clutch hub and the, and the clutches. Your remachined pressure plate will be, this is what it'll look like. Your thrust washer and your needle bearing will go into here. This is your thrust washer. It gets installed first. Then your needle bearing. And we'll install them with grease on them to hold them in place. Once you've installed the thrust washer first and the needle bearing and put grease on both pieces before installation, this is how you install it. It's very simple to install. Make sure it lines up on the splines and drops all the way against your, your clutch plates. Now you're ready to reassemble and if you want to use uh, install your aftermarket springs, if you have aftermarket springs you want to install, now is the time to do it. After all the bolts and springs are installed, make sure these are torqued to 7 foot-pounds of torque and then you're ready to make your final clutch adjustments uh, up at the clutch lever for your preference. Now you're ready to clean all the gas material off of your uh, cases and your, and your uh, clutch cover and then ready to install new gasket and finish assembly. After you have the installation of your pressure plate, needle bearing pressure plate into the, onto the clutch basket, you made sure you put a new clutch cover gasket on it, reinstall your cover, and adjust your clutch to your preference. Make sure you got a little free travel at the handle. Uh, the reason why we're, we're using these is because the original uh, pusher system on the 1000 Kawasaki's they have a little ball behind that little, look like a valve, your, your clutch pusher, that's what we looked at in there, and there's a rod. In the, what happens when you start putting extra spring pressure for the clutch to get the clutch to hold up under, under uh, heavier loads, the, the pressure plate makes the, the pusher spin and it galls it to the little ball in there and it gets everything galled up inside. With the new installation of the needle bearing on the pressure plate, it, re, it get, eliminates that uh, the problem of the, of the little ball going up. Works great, we've done it for years, we've been putting these in these old Kawasaki since the 70's so uh, never ever had a problem with them and been a, been a great idea.